Okay, this is the photo I cropped in the last lesson. You can see it has the border here on the left and the right still, but none on the top and bottom because that's where I cropped it. I want to put the borders back on the top and bottom to make it look original. So to do that, I'm just going to copy and paste them onto this picture. And to do that, you come up here to File, click it, click Open. And right here is the original, so I'm going to double click it and open it. It's going to ask me if I want to keep it, and I'm going to say yes. I'll move this over so you can see it. And I'm going to make it wider. Drag this over like this. And then I'm going to the uh, cropped images seven inches wide. So I'm going to make this seven inches wide so the borders will be about the same length. So I'm going to come up here to image and click scale image. And I'm going to put change this from pixels to inch, inches. I'm going to put seven inches in the width box. Click scale. And it's scaling. Okay. I'm going to click my zoom tool. Make sure it's on zoom out and click. Scroll up to the top. Now I'm going to choose my rectangle select tool. and drag a box around the border where I want it. That looks good. Okay, I'm going to grab this box here and drag it up a little bit. I don't really want to get any of the, as little of the gray sky as possible, so I don't have to blend the colors. Let it go. Go to Edit and click Copy. And then go back to the original photo, which is behind this window. Come up here to Edit. And click paste. Choose my move tool right over here. Looks like an X across. Click it. Come over here. And move this up to the top. Let it go and see, wait for it to finish moving and see how it looks. Depending on how much RAM you have and how fast your computer is, this can take a while. And I'm going to move it up a fraction more. Oop, fraction too much. Try that. Let it go. Okay. It looks good on the top. This edge right here looks good, but this edge here is not.
So I'm going to choose my scale tool right here. Come over here and click on the border. And I'm going to drag there's three boxes on the end here. I'm going to grab the middle one and drag it out a little bit. Let it go. Click scale. Wait. Uh, did it a little, a little too much. Click it. I'll watch this width number where it says 8,554 in pixels. And I'm just going to grab that middle one again. And I'm going to drag it back a little bit. Oops. Didn't have it. There we go. Okay. The scale. Uh -huh. That's pretty good. I'm going to leave that end. And I'm going to click it again. And I'm going to drag this one out just a fraction. Maybe a couple of pixels. Try that. There we go. And I'm going to leave that like that. That's good. So now I'm going to come up here to uh, Is it layers? I forget. Anchor new layer. Oh, image. Transform. Oh. Flatten image. That's what I want. That's going to make them one. All right. Now that we have the top border on, let's go back to the original photo. And choose the zoom tool, choose zoom in, and I'm going to zoom in on the bottom of this. All right, choose the rectangle select tool, and we're going to come over here, right at the corner, and drag it up and over. And we don't want to get any of the picture, just the border. That's good enough. And let it go. Come up here where it says select. I mean edit. Go to edit. Edit. And choose copy. And then come bring up the other window. And we're going to do this one a little different. We're just not going to paste it in. We're going to paste it in as a layer. Edit. Paste as. Layer. Choose my move tool. And I'm going to move this down. We're going to move this down to the bottom. And the reason we did it as a layer is see if when I put this on here it's chopping off his feet. So we need to make the canvas bigger. And that's the reason we did it as a layer so it would show up on the canvas. So go up to image and click on it. 
come down to canvas size and click on it. Move this over so you can see it better. It says canvas size, width and height. Make sure the chain is broken. So we only want to do the height. Double click it. Changing the value from 6,070 pixels to 6,500. You can see right here it says PX. You can change it to inches or millimeters. And we're working on the Y axis. There's an up arrow. You can move this picture up and down using these arrows. But the default is to put all of the new canvas at the bottom of the photo which is what I want so I'm just going to leave it alone and click resize and there you can see the new canvas at the bottom of the photo I still have my uh, move tool selected so I'm going to grab this and move it down let it go come up here to layers and stack and actually I don't think I need to do any of this I think I just need to wait for my computer to make the move I'm going to close this other windows. Maybe it'll speed up the computer a little. There it goes. And this edge is lined up pretty good. It's a little short on this edge. So I'm going to use the scale tool. Come over here and click on it and I'm going to drag it there that should do it scale it's perfect and then I come up here to layer and what do we want to do delete, delete stack I guess we want to do merge down okay there's one more thing we need to do there's a line right here and right here and over here and up here from where we uh, overlap the border top and bottom borders onto the side borders so we're going to choose the zoom tool and I'm going to zoom in on that area and you can barely see the line right there so I'm going to get the clone tool and we're going to make the opacity about 6770 and the size is pretty good so I don't need to change that and we're going to choose this area right here. Control click. And then we're going to come right here where the line is and drag. There we go. That one's done. Go over to the other corner. All right. And control click. And right on a line here. Drag. the edge a little maybe and 
So I got a little grip right here. I'm going to come up here, put my arrow right on it, and I'm going to do control. Click. And I'm going to come straight down where the thing should be. Right here. And click. There, I just made the edge better. Right here is a little gap. Yeah. Okay, that one's done. Now I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. I'm going to choose this area right here. Do control. Click. Come up here where the line is. And drag. Click a couple of times. The rip mark here I want to get rid of. Okay. I'm going to scroll across the bottom. All the way. Do the same thing. I'm going to copy this side. Control click. Straight down. I'll go over it again. And go up here to view, click it, zoom, fit image in window. And that's it completely done. I, I'm going to take my clone tool and clean up some of these spots and stuff, but I've already done videos on how to do that. So that's how you crop it and put your borders back on. Hope it works out for you. And uh, thanks for watching. Good luck. Bye.